Hey everybody, it's a late video today, but let's see what's going on in Arena. And so we're going to cash in this thing, so 20 blue and white spells, that shouldn't be too, too hard. Alright, uh, so we got Standard 2021 Artisan, interesting. So this one you can just keep playing and you just get XP for it? Yeah, that looks awesome. So Artisan decks, in case you don't know, are just, um, they're made with only... Uh, commons and uncommons and there's a few artisan decks I have built uh, but they're standard 2021 so that's actually kind of interesting you might have to redo some of your artisan decks okay so anyways uh, let's go and see what other events there are so premier draft that's okay if you're mainly into historic premier draft course at 2021 also good if you're just playing standard or historic I guess Quick Draft Throne of Eldraine was, would actually be pretty sweet as well, depending if you need the cards. Like, I pretty much have all I need from Throne of Eldraine, so I'm probably not going to be playing that. All right, let's go check out the store. Looks like more card styles. Let's check out the daily deals. And it is all just the card styles that you got pretty much from the last, pretty much from the last time they did the Mastery Pass. So, eh, I'm not going to get these. Uh, they are a total waste of your time and money. Okay, I think that is it. Man, that's a really short one today. Only like a minute and a half long. This uh, sleeve is coming up, so hopefully I'll be able to get that today. But, oh, oh, before I leave, before I leave, there is... Yesterday I was playing in the... Uh, yesterday I was playing in FNM at home, and I got a code from my LGS. So let's cash in that code. And what I get... Two sets of sleeves. All right. Oh, man, they just went away. Okay, let's go check them out. Uh, Rixus Rose. Okay, let's go see what sleeves there were. They were. They were the little cartoonish ones. Here they are. So I got the um, oh, Sahili Rai and the Jaya Ballard. Jaya Ballard's also badass. Like, she's awesome. But, yeah, I mean, these two are... A really, yeah, they, you know, they're decent sleeves. I'll take them. And the good thing is the sleeves don't expire. So, you know, I'm okay with it. All right. So free sleeves are always good. And that's just for playing in the free event. So, hey, that is it for the day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Welcome to part two of my video for today. So, I, yeah, I know I finished the daily review, but then I actually went and played the standard 2021 artisan event afterwards and actually won my first match. Um, but what I did is I looked at the decks that I currently had for artisan and I found that none of them were actually good enough to, uh, well, not good enough, none of them were actually uh, standard legal for standard 2021. So I had to do some modification. So I'm going to show you the deck that I won with and it was actually Actually pretty effective now I only played one match so I don't know if it still is effective but you know uh, this is the one the artisan blue white auras and the only one that's not legal in this deck the only card is spectral sailor right this is m20 card so you got to get rid of this four of spectral sailor and so what did I do to to uh, replace it with well there are some options so the first one I did as I replaced it, what I chose to do is to replace it with Beloved Princess. And the reason why is because we have a lot of lifelink in this deck. So I've got Elsia of Life's Beauty, Beloved Princess has lifelink. Um, and then Fairy Guidemother does not have lifelink, but that's okay too, right? So we've got some lifelinking there. And then basically what we can do is just allow our opponent sometimes just to swing in and it doesn't matter to us, right? Because we're just going to gain back so much life. All right, so um, that's what I chose, Beloved Princess, right? Um, and then what if you wanted to, you could take out the Fairy Guide Mother. Like, I like to have a 12 of creatures because basically what we're going to try and do in this one is stack a bunch of enchantments and auras onto our creatures. Um, but if you don't want the Fairy Guide Mother, like, you basically need to have a creature. If you don't have creatures, then you're screwed. So if, if you have... You know, you want to have an opening, a creature in your opening hand, a one mana drop. And so that's why I've got the 12, right? So you're pretty much going to get a creature in your opening hand every time if you have this, right? If you want to be a little riskier, um, you could take out the Fairy Guide Mother and put in the Griffin Airy, 
All right, so Griffin Airy is actually pretty sweet. And once you start gaining more life, right, because these are all life linkers, then once you start putting like enchantments on them, you're going to start gaining life like crazy, right? And then you're going to start generating threats in the air, right, with the Griffin Airy, right? So every time you gain three or more life this turn, create a three a 2-2 two -two white Griffin um, creature token. So you just start creating Griffin creatures, and that's actually, you know, a pretty sweet way to go. Now, some of the all-stars in this are uh, of course all that glitters that's a must-have for any deck like this right glass casket um, and pacifism are just good removal right for your opponent stuff now your starlit mantle is really good because it has flash and so you can hold up mana right and then you can just cast this on your opponent's end step right and then we got some other things like staggering insight staggering insight is amazing right because whenever you deal combat damage to a player you draw a card and both of your creatures have um well a number of your creatures like fairy guide mother and also beloved princess have some form of evasion so you can get through creatures and then just draw more cards and you know just start drawing cards like crazy so staggering insight is actually pretty pretty sweet all right so then so then we got uh, the Heliod's Pilgrim uh, and Arcanus Owl, and basically allows us to just dig for uh, dig for other enchantments and stuff like that. So these are basically all our card draw type things. And then after that, we got a four of Tranquil Cove, seven islands, and ten planes, and the, that seems to be balanced out correctly. All right. So, anyways, that is it. It's super cheap and it's pretty fun to put around. I ended up the game with something like a like a 33 or 31, uh, 31, 31 lifelinker in the air, <laughs> you know, like just like attacking my opponent. And yeah, it was, uh, if you look at the thumbnail for this video, you're going to see it there. So, you know, if you're looking for a deck to try in this one, this one's a pretty cheap one. It's pretty simple to play. You're just going to put down a creature, uh, preferably start stacking stuff on beloved princess or fairy guide mother because they have evasion right uh, and leave up your lca of life's bounty for protection right uh, be, and always leave a mana open if you can right because then your um lca of life's bounty basically like you can sacrifice it and give your, your your creature protection to save it right uh other than that like you know you've got a lot of other protection like starlit mantle can protect your creature and also karametra's blessing can protect your creature as well so you always want to try and keep up the mana to try and protect your creature because if you lose it then you're just screwed right so yeah but other than that like basically put one of these down you know and then just start stacking into auras and you know and stuff like that right and then once you if your opponent really drops a real threat Right, then just uh, hit it with pacifism or hit it with glass casket and yeah and that is pretty much it right so anyways that is it for the deck tech today on artisan uh, blue white auras let me know what you think give it a shot and yeah let me know if you had any success thanks for watching and good luck in this event